Okay, let me teach you how to solve this question. This is the sweat line chapter for SPM form 4. Okay, okay, before we start to solve this kind of question, the first thing is you have to analyze the diagram. Okay, okay, you, you see the arrow draw in the purple one. Okay, this will mean it's parallel. Okay, so you see these two arrow means actually for the straight line KL will parallel with the straight line LM. Okay, and the, for the straight line KL and straight line JM will parallel with the X axis. Okay, so before we start to do, what is the meaning for parallel to the X, -X, -X axis? Okay, remember whenever the straight line is parallel to the x axis the gradient will equal to 0 whenever the straight line is par parallel with x axis the gradient will be 0 okay means if you parallel to the x axis there's no there's no gradient so the gradient will be 0 Okay, so first A very easy. He asks us state the y intercept of the straight line JK. Okay, y intercept of the straight line JK. So for the straight line JK, the equation is for the JK. Okay, the equation is y equal to 2x plus 13. Okay, I see the 2 here is the m. And the 13 here is a C. What is C? C is Y intercept. Therefore, he asks us state the Y intercept of the straight line JK. Very easy. When you see state, you can straight away write the answer. So you write Y intercept. of jk is 13 that's all okay b okay what 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 they want is state the equations of the straight line kl okay for the straight line kl i say straight line kl is parallel with the jm and jm is parallel to the x axis so the meaning is all of this have the gradient zero. Okay, so y equal okay, so I write the equation for linear y equal to mx plus c. Okay, so now the gradient is zero. I just substitute the zero into it. So y will equal to zero x plus c. Okay, kl will pass through one point. I say there's two steps to find equation. First, you have to find gradient. Second, you have to find C. So now we want to find C, we must have one point on the line KL. So now we have the L coordinate. So I write this equation at L, 6, 9. So I just substitute this one into it, okay? Before that, remember, X is for 6 and Y will be 9 so i just substitute y in the y x into x so 9 will equal to 0 6 plus c 0 multiple everything you will get 0 so c you will get 9 therefore i substitute back the c into that equation therefore y will equal to 0 plus 9 so 9 so this is the equation For KL. That's all. So y will equal to 9. This is the equation. Okay, okay, the last part he asked us find the equation of the straight line LM. Now he wants to find the equation for straight line LM. Okay, so I repeat whenever you need to find an equation, you need to have two steps. The first step is find the gradient 
The second step is find the y-intercept. Okay, so I'm, okay, I move here. Okay, so now we have to find the straight line LM. Okay, first you know LM is parallel to the JK. So gradient for LM, okay, will equal to gradient of KJ. So this gradient will equal to this gradient will equal to what? You see y equal to 2x plus 13. This is already in the y equal to mx plus c form. So 2 obviously is the gradient. So gradient for lm and gradient of, for kl will have 2. Okay. So therefore, now I got the gradient already. I substitute back the gradient into the y equal to mx plus c. So y will equal to 2x plus c for for lm okay because the gradient is 2 okay so after you got this this equation you need to find y intercept so you need to have one point on the line lm okay so therefore we can straight away use the coordinate l so i write at l 6 9 therefore same thing i substitute i substitute x and y into this equation to get c so y is 9 so 9 will equal to 2 6 plus c so 9 will equal to 12 plus c so c will equal to 9 minus 12 so c will equal to negative 3 so after i got this one i remember must substitute back to the y equal to 2x plus c therefore we will get y equal to 2x okay negative 3 you just write minus 3 so this is the equation for lm so in the exam you just write therefore equation for lm is y equal to 2x minus 3 that's all. So, thank you for this video.